guessed. Hi. Definitely gonna have to like do some reinvesting into equipment. The mic's not thing. bad. I had like it's not a bad mic. It's just kind of annoying because it's only got like a tiny area of effect. And I was thinking, I was looking at Yetis and snowballs and shit. Mm -hmm. And then you know, of course, I when you Google snowball, it, it just rolls downhill. I got mine into on, just the pawn dudes shop. blasting into their own mouths, basically. <laughs> I got mine at the pawn shop, and it was pretty... It was like 20 bucks. It's pretty fucking rad. Or it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's I just don't have a stand for it anymore. Um, Jones came and got his stand, so I have to. I would have to hold it. I, I still have the one that's like this, though. Oh, hell yeah. It's a, it's a good-ass mic. It's just... old and decrepit. Like me! <laughs> fucking... It's wearing out. I, get, I, I have to, like... Fuck with it every now and then. Like, I gotta dismantle it and clean it and shit. I'm tired of doing that. I don't want to be responsible for it. I think I'm just gonna fucking do the exact same thing I did with everything else. Just garbage it and set it on fire. And murder its family in front of it. Burn this motherfucker down. Uh, Alright, there we go. A little bit better. Boom. Alright. <sighs> Welcome to Stark Raven. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> alright, alright. Welcome to Stark Raving Beer Reviews. Yeah, I am your host, Cracky. This is the good, the one, the only, Liza Slander, Presidente. GMB, GMB, GMB. Hello, how are you? You may know him from previous beer reviews and numerous Liza Slanders. And Stone Cinema. It's lots of Stone Cinema. Oh, isn't there like one unreleased one? There's a couple of them. Yeah. The computer crashed, and I haven't been able to edit them. We should get a uh, robot to do all our editing. We should. Soon we'll but have I, robot slaves. It, but then we're just going to start fucking the robot. Oh, day one. Uh, day, like, we have to establish <laughs> dominance over it somehow. I'm not even allowed to vacuum anymore. I just put my dick in whatever. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, number 49... Uh, hopefully we have a good guest for 50, because if I'm drinking alone on 50, I'm going to drink, like, eight beers. Like, alone. In the dark. Do 50 beers. Oh, fuck, yeah. I mean, easily I can drink. You should get that Paps fucking 90 <laughs> can thing. Jesus fucking Christ. You try to do as many uh, as you can. I'm not trying to blow my anus out. See, I said anus instead of asshole. That's classy. It's damn classy. <laughs> I need to get, uh, like, a soundboard, because every time I say, like, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, I uh, need, like, a quacking sound or something like that. To, wow. to, yeah, so I'm probably going to just, like, skip all the swearing, because I don't want another flag. I uh, respect it. Remember that Mad TV when they did Sopranos? <laughs> it was like a, uh, Sopranos on PAX TV. What do you mean the gabagool? No! <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, I'm just. It's good. It, I mean, it's good. The <laughs> Gabagoo. Oh my god! Dude. I just watched the uh, Gabagoo, uh, like rundown. Like how many times they argue about? It. It's like 19 minutes of them talking about Gabagoo throughout the entire series. Just 19 minutes of dialogue dedicated to them. Where's the Gabagoo? You got the Gabagoo? Oh, here's the Gabagoo. And then them eating the Gabagoo. Have you seen the montage of every time they say "oh"? No, it, I have it, not. It is fantastic. There, every um, everything they do is like "oh, oh, oh, there he is, ooh, ah." Oh, dude, my, still my favorite episode. It's like, it's like <laughs> he said he killed the. <laughs> He's a kill the Russian ballerina. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, they're out in the woods. He goes. Um, um, he's a. He's a. Um, He's a florist. <laughs> He's a member of the Russian interior unit or whatever. He killed 16 Czechian rev rebels, whatever. And he's like, did you hear it? He was a guy who killed 16 Czechoslovakians. He was an interior decorator. <laughs> and then it goes to Chris like, he's like, 
house looked like shit. <laughs> it looked like shit. God damn it. I love that show. It's such a good show. I, I, I started re-watching that shit. So fucking good. So fucking good. I'm like season two. The movie's like pretty two good and a half too. Right now. Ugh. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so this is Duke Claw Sour Me. This is a sour ale. It says 16 ounces, 5.5 alcohol, a clean, a cool, cool sticker. Duke, Duke Claw. I think it's Duke Claw. I tried to pronounce it last time. I think I got it right. Baltimore, Maryland. Duck Claw. Duck Claw. Duck Claw. Or Duck Law. Duke Claw. Duck Law. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bird lawyer. I'm really into bird law. Craft be cherished, rules be damned. I do like that. Craft be cherished, rules be damned. And we are definitely criminals <laughs> in this thing. All right. Can we crack it? Let's crack it. Ready? Right in the mic. Right in the mic. Right in the mic. Right in the mic. Let's get the mic. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That smells super sour. Oh! I fucking love that color. It almost looks like the milk after you drink Fruity Pebbles. Dude. Or my piss. <laughs> after a long day. Not even Of long... not drinking water. I should probably I mean, suck that shit you... You swim in? Yeah, something like that. This guy's drinking water. Water. I botched water the, the pour. Toilet? I botched the pour hard. It's a, these are new glasses. Sorry. Uh, normally we use the mugs, but I bought glasses to feel fancy, and I deeply regret it already. I broke one already. Like I had like four. I broke one, and then I got the uh, other one, and I was like, "It's just cracking it." You know, it's you not totally broken. You'll never break any if you just drink out of a shoe. Shoe is also broke. true. Shoeies. Dude, that's still, like, on the fucking KOSA, uh, thing. Shout out, KOSA. I, I lost that shirt already. I had it, and then, uh... I don't even know what that is. Uh, the King of San Antonio contest this year. Oh. Yeah, I saw a bunch of those. Apparently, drinking a beer from a shoe was a thing again this year. Hmm. The classic shoey, man. All right. Wistful. Tart Sweet Sour with iconic watermelon cherry flavor combo, which is one of my favorite slushes from Sonic. Sonic, sponsor me. I pour vodka in everything that you give me. I like the Big Red with vanilla. Ooh, Big Red vanillas in general. And I like the chili cheese dogs with mustard and onions. Good footlong coney. <laughs> chili cheese coney. Yeah. I actually do enjoy their onion rings. Man, they're, they're I want some onion rings. Fuck this beer review. No, no, we're no, no, no. We're, it's too late. We'll get onion rings later. Now it's a crab open for a crisp candy scent that, with a sip that packs a juicy punch. You've seriously got to have it. No, I'm going to take it Who seriously. Who are you to tell me what I should seriously have? I I don't take my own life seriously. It's fine. It's worked out pretty well. It has not. God. The way the light hits that motherfucker. Dude, look at that. It's so nice and bright and red. This looks really nice. I haven't even smelled it yet. Dude, smell it. Ooh-wee. I'm excited for this one. All right. Ready? Ready. Titties. Can't agree with that. I'm an ass guy. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh, that is good. That is... That is dangerous right there. That could easily... Oh my god. Oh, even the burp is good. The burp's got a little Jolly Rancher to it. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's exactly what it is. It's like, um... Oh, they're enriching the beers. That is... That oh is... my god. That's pretty goddamn good. Wow. Holy shit! It was thirteen dollars, so it should be good. God damn! But that was good, and it's five point five. Oh, dude, this is this is so good. 
it's like it, it's not even like a super sour one. It's just like mildly sour. It's like um, it's like getting into like a warhead, like a watermelon warhead. It's like super candy-ish, but like not over sweet, not over sour. It's it, oh, dude, I don't like saying it's this got word. a very, it's got a pleasant burp. I don't know how else to say it. I just keep doing little burps. It's nice. I call it the up and up. <clears throat> oh uh, yeah, the up and up is good. Do tell why is it an up and up? Well, it's better coming up than it's going down. <laughs> it means butthole. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Shrek. <laughs> to Shrek. To Shrek. That was almost Chris Farley. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. King. Shrek 2 it might be the best of all those computer animated movies. I, I feel... Shrek 2 and Toys R... Toys R Us? <laughs> Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3. Oh, dude, yeah. Toy Story 3. They're, they're neck and neck. I, first movie I ever cried at was Toy Story 3. Ah, oh, man. Toy Story 3 was good. Super good. Yeah. But Shrek 2 was Shrek 2. Shrek 2 was Shrek 2. I, I did not hero. like the third one. No, I didn't. After the second one, I didn't think they were very good, but that second one's great. Second one's good. <clears throat> That's what we worry about. Ooh, even the toot is good on that one. Okay, another bad one. Sausage and eggs? A little bit. Man. <sighs> this is a pleasant drink. This is so easy going to do. I could go with a little bit more watermelon flavor on it, but... Yeah, it's, um... I don't really... I don't really get a lot of watermelon. I get more cherry on it. And that's where, like, the tartness is coming from. I need a little more watermelon. Like, a little more watermelon, and that'd be... Epically perfect. Like, it... This is epically stupidly perfect. smooth. And it's, like... It's still like bubbly and tickles my fucking tongue right now. Oh, man. Again, I, I think I might just drink this for the burp. Dude, it's so I've never good. had a drink where the burp tastes better than the drink. <sighs> Jesus Christ, it's fantastic. It doesn't really smell like it would taste that great either. No, you it's smell, just... You can smell a lot more of the alcohol or the booze or whatever than you can taste. Yeah. Alright, I gotta get Picture that before I fucking slam it on. Boom. Alright. Now you need to do it underneath the light. Oh, yeah. Let's get that. Let's get that. Use this fucking camera for something that's useful. Nice. Styling. Styling. Profiling. Quick. Uh, something, something, something. Beats your boys on the block. Do you finish yeah. it before you rate it, or what do you do? I, oh, yeah. What's uh, your rating like, system? I, uh, terrible. <laughs> oh, it's it's all over the fucking place. My rating system is so bad. Uh, so, basically, I, like, rank it in, like, 1 to 10, and then I rank it on, like, favorite beers. And, of course, my favorite beers are constantly the same, basically. Bud Light? <sighs> I, I, th I think I still got beef with Bud Light. Bud Light is the only beer that will destroy my stomach. <laughs> Budweiser slightly comes in second for destroying my stomach. Bush Light doesn't fuck with me. How uh, about Bud, Bud Ice? Bud Ice is the king of all Anheuser-Busch products right now. The ice uh, is the way to go. Dude, ice is so The ice dumb. is the only one you can get in a 40. Still. And it, it comes in plastic 40 now, but it's still a 40. I don't like the plastic 40. I don't like plastic The whole point of beer. a 40 is once you finish it, you smash it on the ground. It's half the How fuck. How do you smash a 40 that's plastic? How am I going to fight a dude in the street, blackout drunk off a 40, if I don't have a glass bottle? Yep. And there's a bush. I'm calling you out on that. Yep. King Kroger still comes in a glass. Old Eek still comes in a glass. What's wrong with fucking Bud Ice coming in a glass? I don't get it, man. No goddamn class. Dude, fucking Dos Equis comes in a glass. That's two X's. It's two. Like what? <laughs> What's going on? You're you're like one of the biggest breweries on the planet. You know, I was like... 20, and you suck. I was like 25 
when I realized that Dos Equis is two X's. Yeah. Like, I was sitting at the gas station. I think I was with you. I'm pretty sure we had that conversation. We were in Brownsville, and we were sitting at the gas station, and I noticed the label, and I was like, XX, Dos Equis, two X's. Oh, shit! And it all came together. And then we had barbacoa, and it was delicious. Yeah. And we just robbed a restaurant of its silverware and glasses. I'll probably have to cut that out. I think that's admitting to a crime. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Your Set dad, your limitations. Your dad had us taking a bunch of pint glasses and shit. That was awesome. Uh, we talked uh, fruit, uh, the shrimp cocktail glasses, because they had served shrimp cocktail glasses. I still have some of them. And those just double shot glasses that look like beer mugs, I still have those. Shrimp I shoot, I shoot uh, Kool-Aid through them. Have you ever had one of those super fancy um, uh, Bloody Marys that have, like, Burgers or whatever, chicken legs, barbecue, like all that. It seems a little excessive, and I'm also not a fan of the Bloody Mary. I'm okay with the Bloody Mary. Um, I, I've had one recently, but it had like pickle spears in it, mm. and uh, that was actually legit. I like good. that. I had it with pickles, and then it had this like olives that had um, blue cheese in it. it was oh, so good. I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's not like it's, I couldn't drink a lot of them, but yeah, we went, we went to Vegas. I was double. Oh yeah, yeah. It was them. like uh, it was like um, I'll leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Melissa made me this uh, Bloody Mary thing, and it was like half pickle juice and like all this other stuff. It's stupid spicy, and then like it immediately destroyed my stomach from all the pickle juice. But it was actually like really good going down. Hell yeah, that sounds pretty. Good. I like pickle juice and things. I've been drinking a lot of pickle juice. Helps with cramps because I'm old. When we went to Vegas, I, they had a happy hour thing where it was like a dollar fucking dollar Bloody Mary. And I was walking on these two fucking big ass Bloody Marys, sipping them up, trying to play slots and shit. <laughs> High out of my goddamn mind because it was legal there. And I don't think we were sober for more. Dude, uh, Once we landed, we got to the room and we went to the, the dispensary and we didn't spend another fucking second sober. <laughs> That's fucking rad. Oh, man. You should go back to Vegas with the boys. Vegas. I'm free this year. Mm. It is so good. Yeah. It's remarkably good. I sometimes forget to taste it. Because it's so good. Mm. This is like a solid 8. It's a solid 8. Yeah. Could use a little more watermelon in it. Um, oh my god, it's just so dumb good. I would have given it probably a 9. 9.1 if it wasn't $13 for four of them. Uh, yeah, I gotta throw that. Yeah, Duclaw but... is kind of on the pricey side. Yeah, they have same thing with the uh, the one I just did. The um, the other Duclaw Unicorn Farts was also like fifteen bucks a four pack. They had a one for um, Fourth of July that tastes like a bomb pop, and that might be my favorite of the Duclaws. Okay, well, was, I'm going to keep an eye out for that shit this year, because that sounds amazing. I love the bomb pops. It's like the only thing I get, other than, like, the mutated Sonic Sherbert thingy, where he's got, like, one eye over here and, like, one eye, like, in the back of his head. Oh, from the ice cream man? Yeah. They never have the Ninja Turtle bars. They're never, they yeah. never have Ninja Turtle bars. They're always disappointing, though. Like, I get them because I like turtles, but the gum is always powder once you take two bites of it. It. it you uh, know what I so like from the ice cream man? I would e- I'd either get the uh, the cucumber soaked in pickle juice with the Lucas shit on it, oh, or yeah. I liked the crunch bars that were like chocolate, like Oreo bar things. Yeah, that Those shit was shit. fucking good as fuck. I loved that shit. That shit was Where's good. the ice cream man? He comes through. Ice cream man! We, uh, yeah. We'll fucking Twitter him. Uh, does he? I don't know if he has Twitter. What was, become... the, uh, tw- what was the ice cream man's name from uh, Pete and Pete? Mr. Swirly? No, it's a toilet. Phil? Phil Richardson. Maybe. Now I'm going to have to watch Pete and Pete again. We should become Ice Cream Man. How hard could it be, right? I don't know. Like, every year you kill two kids, 
send yeah. a sample for the neighborhood, and then uh, you're just back on the streets like 45 hours later. Yeah, you just go to a different neighborhood. I mean, you just, no, you, 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 you don't neighborhood change neighborhood. neighborhoods. Like you establish dominance in that neighborhood, and then you run the game. Well, no, you work. You work with other ice cream men, and as they kill children, you uh, switch you neighborhoods. So you swap it, neighborhoods. Yeah, so you it's like it's like priests is. in the Catholic Church. You just it's a shell game. You just keep moving, bro. Mm, it's a crazy shell game. But you know what? The ice cream always sells. The kids love ice cream. Mm hmm. And getting killed. Yeah, and they're really dumb. They're easy to kill. Like, how many Amber Alerts a day do I get? Like, nine? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's probably going to stay. The child murder. Dick Law. Dick Law. <laughs> the beer of child murder. <laughs> Please don't sue us. Delicious. Hey, man, you can kill all the kids you want if you keep making a pr quality product like Sour Me, Watermelon Cherry. <sighs> This is actually really excellent. Uh, I'm going to have to... S I give it uh, 8.5. I still got wood. Yeah. Yeah, like an 8-ish for me. It's really good. It, it's really... It's really good. Yeah. Uh, that's the best way... I, could, I don't know how to fucking describe it. It's just really fucking good. It's really smooth. It doesn't have that weird aftertaste with it but like most sours do. Like, it's like the perfect tone. If you and it tastes like a, a Sonic slushy, but with beer. If you had something salty with it, like if we were eating chips. Oh, man. yeah. Dude, oh, yeah. The sour and the salt would mix perfectly. Well, Dude, my tongue still tingles from it. It's so good. <coughs> Ooh. Oh. oh, yeah. The oven up on that was really nice. <coughs> God damn. <laughs> that's so good that's so good alright well this went really quick uh, well is there anything we need to pro, pro I, was that a word I used uh, go to YouTube and find lies and slander podcasting you'll see a it's lot in of the links stuff there yep uh, and where you where you find uh, our audio stuff, SoundCloud. It's in links too. Uh, uh, it's on Spotify's. Spotify. It's on Apple Music, podcasts, whatever. Yeah, thing we is. got all that in the links. So uh, Stitcher, I think. Is it on Stitcher now? I think it is on that's, Stitcher. That's pretty rad. Lies and slander. I didn't Stone know Stitcher existed. Cinema, no, Stark didn't. raving. Uh, the Bean and the Bear, if those fucks ever get back together. I don't know if they'll ever get back together. There's a lot of quality products. Uh, no <sighs> no shows with women, because we know what you guys want, and it's not girls. Yeah, that might change pretty soon, so. I got a regular cast member, so that's cool. Alright, well that might be changing. We'll have a girl. We're, we're gonna have to, like, change the title, though. Because it can't be Stark Raven if there's, like, someone there calming me down with just bullshit. No, don't ever no, fucking, no, fuck it. Don't ever fucking, like, load the hype. The hype! I am the hype! We gotta kill this bitch right now. Honestly, I think that's how you end it right there. <laughs> with that clap, and it just goes black. <laughs> I, I got no, I got nothing else. So anyway, <laughs> this has been uh, uh, Story Craving Beer Reviews. Like, subscribe, send to your mother. Do that thing that makes you feel like God. and uh, Send my man titty pics. All the time. Cause that's Dude, what... uh, my Twitter link is also in there. My Instagram link is down there. You know. What's up? He's got a pecker. It works. It still does. Way too much. Mm -hmm. Some would say... Too well. Extremely well. <laughs> Chicago. Excellent.